everybody. It's vlog day 417, which is a lot of 400s. Good morning. Once again, uh, not particularly sunny, but I only got about four and a half hours of sleep last night. <laughs> so, sunglasses. Also, technically, the sun only rose about nine minutes ago. I just checked on Google. Yikes. So we're on our way out to Champagne today. We're gonna go ride bikes through the vineyards of Champagne, and I have to actually start my day by riding a bike to Garda Lest, which is not what I expected. I thought I was riding my bike to a much closer location today. So I get to start my day riding a bike, which is great. We probably should actually get going, so without further ado, let's roll. Do I need a sweatshirt? I don't actually know. Good thing I brought the sweatshirt. It is really cold out. Now the next danger is uh, Google Maps is sending me through the Arc de Triomphe. Haha, <laughs> see how that goes. For those of you who are unaware, the Arc de Triomphe is one of the single most ridiculous roundabouts in the world. Uh, and I'm on a bicycle, so probably no filming. Probably all navigating and surviving here for a minute. All right, here goes. I'm still alive, I'm still alive. I finally found a bike lane. This is way more sane. Riding in traffic's not that bad, but we got up to a point where there was like construction and other stuff. Anyways, I'll stop talking while riding just because my mom's watching, but otherwise, um, you know, I'll see you guys in a minute. Made it. Still alive. And 10 minutes early. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm ready to sleep on the train. Also hunger. Uh, ooh. No. I saw a Starbucks. No. No. Bad idea. But there's pan au soleil, huh? Food. That was possibly the single nicest woman in all of France, and she really liked my bike a lot. Anyways, we gotta find platform 23. We are currently at platform 13. Not bad. We'll get there eventually once we can get through this stream of people. Mischief managed. All right, now, ooh, we're <laughs> all the way down there. Also, the sweatshirt was a great idea, but I figured I should take it off and cool down for a minute. Now that you guys are all up to date on my body temperature, let's find platform 23. We're at platform 19 and 20, isn't that amazing? I bet you can't guess where this goes next. This bike is really heavy when it decides it wants to fall over. How? Neil. I'm Jay. Hey. <laughs> Bike effectively hung now. Not a bad spot to start a bike ride. Yeah, I'll take it. The instruction was to keep it in first gear and high power, which means we're just bending our legs. It feels ridiculous. These bikes are powerful though. Oh, here we go. Now we're gonna get into it. Now we're getting up the hill. Also, this car behind me is probably pretty annoyed, but tough beans. Like it's actually completely shutting off.
Yeah. Well, sometimes you pick it off and juice, you see juice yeah, gush out of it. I've never been to Champagne before. I've, I've never been out in this region, so this is really fun. We picked up our bikes. We got some lunch at a Paul, which is appalling. <laughs> uh, but I did get a quiche de Lorraine out of it, which was delicious. And now we're riding to our first tasting. We stopped, obviously, got some grapes uh, along the way, which were delicious. Pinot Noir, Pinot Meunier, and Chardonnay. Those are the three that we tried. Delicious. <laughs> our faces look we thicker. We have to try to make it back to the tiny one. I also want to drink champagne at some point. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's the important thing. So the more time we take pictures, the less time we have to do champagne drinking. <laughs> right, let's go get there the we go. Peace. We're seen the whole process which has been really good including these guys are actually squeezing grapes right now like or pressing grapes this is harvest time it's so delicious so we saw them pressing grapes we went downstairs checked out the cellars where they're actually aging the champagne went and saw how they got rid of the leaves and yeast that's left in the bottle before right before they bottle it and now we're actually gonna get to try the grape juice which should be delicious Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Not a bad way to spend an afternoon. Am I even in this shot? Mostly, I think. Oh, look at that. Well, I've enjoyed my afternoon out in Champagne, drinking Champagne. We just started drinking. They're opening a new one, so uh, I should probably go back inside. But they're actively pressing the grapes right now. They're creating Champagne around us, which is so cool. I'm so glad I came out here today. I'm so, I'm never, I've never been in Champagne before. I've obviously had a little bit of Champagne to drink every once in a while. This is delicious. And that grape juice, that fresh, like freshly squeezed grape juice, Oh my gosh, probably kill you. Uh, but it was really good. So. Okay. <laughs> I thought you'd like that. <laughs> Sean's taking a turn ahead with the bike that has a dead battery. I rode it almost up here and then he snagged it. It's a lot of workout. Not only are you riding a bike uphill, but it's a bike that's actively working against you. Bad combination. Lunch was, lunch was really good. This is an amazing spot for it. Up on top of a hill, overlooking the valleys of Champagne, or a valley of Champagne. Not bad. The only problem was that I, I ended up switching bikes with Rick so that he wouldn't have to ride the dead battery bike all the way up. Yeah, that was a lot of extra work. Not only is it not just, it's not just a normal bike without the battery, it's extra resistance because you're working against the motor as well. So that was extra work, but I earned my sandwich. So we're gonna go see a church, then we're gonna head down the hill, jump back on the train, and that is Champagne.
this is where Dom Perignon, the guy himself, is actually buried, which is what we just saw. And the entire church was dedicated to making wine and still makes wine today for the... Well, they used to make wine for the Vatican. I don't know if they still make wine for the Vatican. Neil, do they still make wine for the Vatican here? No? Those days are gone? Bonjour. 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 Merci. now which is one of the champagne houses and we're actually gonna go down into the cellars which are apparently 18 kilometers in lake total and we get to ride a tree uh, we're walking into the cellars is that what you're where you wanted me to say something I'm, now I'm now I'm editorializing while you're still videoing your left eye so I figure I might as well capture it. Dunk, everybody. Mm. Yeah. Nicely done. <laughs> and it didn't it didn't froth. That was beautiful. That was perfect. Perfect. 